It's time for Ask Mike Mondays. Mike answers one listener's question every week. Here's Michael Becker and Paul Peebles. Welcome to the Old Capital Real Estate Investing Podcast. I'm your host, Paul Peebles, National Underwriter for Old Capital. And joining me, as always, Michael Becker. Hey, Paul. We're kicking off a new segment today, and uh, it's going to be a complimentary podcast. It's going to be called Ask Mike Mondays. Ask Mike Mondays. Mike has a wealth of knowledge. He is a former banker and has transitioned into owning multifamily apartments. He's done it for years. He's owned over 4,000 units. He's had investors trust him with over $50 million worth of equity, and he's invested over about $400 million in real estate. So I couldn't think of a better person to answer the questions that people in the audience ask. So I want to kick it off today is welcome to the Ask Mike Mondays. Uh, Thanks, Paul. (laughs) So we're going to try to keep these kind of just brief and short, but here's a question that someone asked. I wanted to make sure I I brought it to your attention. Maybe you can get this question answered. When you are looking for your first deal, who are the team members you need to have and what are their roles? Sure. There's an old saying that we always kick around the office. uh, You you know, real estate's like a team sport. You're not going to know everything you need to know when you're starting out and you don't need to. You, You can have team members that can serve different roles and support you along the way. Some of the major team members that you should have, first and foremost, a good real estate lawyer is worth their weight in gold. They can help you put together the contract, review it, do title review, things like that. It kind of checks and balance on the legal side, as well as a lot of the real estate attorneys also do securities work. So we either have the uh, lawyer that can do both the real estate and securities work in one, or you hire another separate securities lawyer that helps you put together your PPM and making sure that you're out there in a compliant fashion when you're raising capital from your investors. That's kind of first and foremost, someone that you should get. Another key team member, one that kind of makes it go once you own the property is your management company. A management company not only oversees the day-to-day operations once you own the property, um, hire, fire the staff, execute the leases, make sure that the property is you know, in good working order and good, good standing with the city. They also help you on the front end when you're trying to put together your operating budget. They're the ones that can tell you what's going to take to operate the property, you know how much uh, in payroll and, and repairs and maintenance, et cetera, that you can expect on the property. So they're a key member of your team as well. A couple other people, you got to have a good insurance broker. These properties not only need property and casualty insurance you know, for like fire and, and hail, et cetera, but you also need a general liability and an excess liability policy. Uh, those are requirements that your lender is going to put upon you. And it's just good sound business practices because when you own a large apartment complex, you're always something going on. Someone's always slipping and falling or falling asleep with something on the stovetop. So having a good, a competent insurance broker to make you uh, a good insurance policy is very key. Speaking of lending, obviously having a good mortgage broker like Old Capital is is very key to have on your team. For example, in the state of Texas, there's hundreds and hundreds of banks out there, if not thousands. If you're trying to go out there and place a loan on your own, you have to navigate that whole complicated world. Having a good, solid, experienced mortgage broker on your side can shortcut that for you. and Make sure that uh, you get the right execution for the right loan product for what you're looking to do and it meets all your objectives. So having a good mortgage broker on your team is worth their weight and goal. They can really, really make this deal going. Because when you're going out and financing these deals, it's about eight, 75 to 80% of the capital required with equity being the, the difference. So really, the loan product is, is of the utmost importance along the way. Some other people that you should uh, consider having on your team is having a good third-party property inspector, someone that can walk these units with you, make sure that they they go through and, and you've got a good eyes and ears to the property, understand exactly what you're walking into, check out the, the major components of the building, like the roof and the sewer, and then walk the interiors of the units and make sure you really have a good I- idea of what you're walking into and you have a capital budget aligned properly that that you know go in and implement your business plan once once you own it. Another person once you own it that you should also consider having is a good property tax protester, um, someone that can help you with your annual property tax protest because uh, especially in Texas it's a big deal, but nationwide it is. It's a big line item expense is your property taxes. And if you can go in and effectively argue that number down, it can mean tens and tens of thousands of dollars of savings every year. And then finally, if you're starting out, you know, having a good mentor along the way, someone that kind of shortcut the process for you, that's of uh, utmost importance as well. Someone that's kind of hold your hand and, and watch what you're doing to make sure that you don't make any major critical mistakes. Because when you're doing these apartment deals, you're, you're dealing in pretty large dollars. So trying to make sure you have someone watching your back is invaluable as well. 
Boy, great insight on our first Ask Mike Mondays. So fantastic, Mike. Thanks for the insight. If there's any questions that anybody has, go to the Old Capital Podcast. There's a place that on the last page that you can complete. Ask your question, and we'll make sure that we get it on to next podcast. So thanks. Thanks, Mike, for hanging out in the Old Capital Podcast on Ask Mike Mondays.